So till now we got to know how to screen stocks and then to check the valuation to find out whether they are correctly valued at current market price under the current scenario. Now what we need to do is to check the business profile of those stocks. When you are going to decide about purchasing a stock, you are not just buying a certain number of units of that particular stock, but indeed you are deciding to become the owner of a particular proportion of that company's business. In this situation, it is important to know about the business of the company and its relevant details to get an idea about where the future of company lies in current scenario. This process is quite important because till now whatever analysis we have done is based upon the past business growth of the company and if the past performance is good we can have the fair idea that the management would uh, strive to expand the business and grow sales and profits in regular fashion but this may not be enough to rely on completely and we need to look for some more details about the business this kind of uh, details include uh, first of all clear idea of uh, what kind of business or businesses the company is engaged in and uh, about their products services their end use the raw material and inputs company uses the number of production units or sales houses they have the brand names under which the business sells its uh, products or services etc then comes in the row expertise of management in bringing the company to the current position since we have already checked the data about return on equity return on capital employed debt to equity ratio business growth and all we have assumed a fair idea about management expertise next we need to know about how management is planning to expand the business from now onwards this may be planned in uh, nature of geographical expansion capacity expansion segment wise expansion or maybe in the nature of improving existing products or services anything it can be so this is necessary to know because if the business has grown year by year till now then it is apparent that uh, the management has some growth strategy to further expand its business from this point in other words some growth plan is needed rather than just the impact of inflation over the growing sales year on year basis further you can get a brief idea about the business of the company on the website of uh, skinner.in also for that you just need to go to the dashboard of a particular company and on the right side you can get uh, these details by clicking on uh, read more here you may get the idea about the brief details of important aspects of the company this can be product or service offering market position clientele facilities geographical and segment wise detail of revenue current expansion plans etc also there are links at the end of each such information in the form of linked numbers in blue color so we can click on them and check the background data from where the information is obtained once we get to know the brief details about the business next we will explore a slight detail about it the best source of information for this is the company's website and in that one can find the details of each product or services sold by the company under relevant section watching this we can imagine what sort of business and products the company is uh, dealing in sometimes on the website you may also get the information about major client base in case of some companies reading all these a fair idea about the business of the company can be obtained this needs to be done for each company in our shortlist next is the requirement to know about the business growth prospects of the company in near future this information can be present in a variety of documents released by the company for this the documents uh, which can be referred are chairman speech in the annual report often in chairman speech there is included a brief detail about the company's upcoming growth plans regarding capacity expansion of uh, existing facilities or setting up of uh, new facilities or uh, changing of uh, new or updated products and much more then in the investors presentation investor presentation is the document which companies often present to the investors after the quarterly result or at the time of some important events and this contains information about business operations as well as future plans of the company regarding expansion in new areas new segment or new technology apart from this the information regarding expansion plans is also given by the management persons in the earnings call made after each quarter the transcripts of which are also presented in the website screener.in or nowadays the notes of his transcripts are also attached near to scripts by screener.in only from there also the desired information can be obtained in the summarized manner further it may also be important to know about uh, key strengths and weaknesses of the company's business for that we can refer to the latest credit rating report of the company the same is also available on the same website screener routine and this section is near to the earning con calls section for example we see in the dashboard of uh, alkyla mine the business info is given in the right side of the dashboard when we click on read more and uh, scroll we get to know the details of expansion projects there is a brief about uh, new incremental capacity of the company and from the link given we can refer to the document where the information is disclosed reading the same we can get the idea of uh, what new plant company is establishing and when it will become operative now when we come to the dashboard again we can scroll down and come to the area where uh, transcripts are there just click on the notes of the latest transcripts in these notes you can have detailed information about existing or new expansions along with the details of new products to be introduced or the new markets the company is making space into so the idea behind uh, reading the growth aspects is to get clarity that the business is not in the saturation mode and there should be further growth scope of the same by reading about business it is very important that you come to some idea of how management is targeting growth in coming times but this 
information would be present for different companies in different types of documents released by them to the public. In case of one company, you may find the details in the chairman's speech of the annual report, for another in the transcript of the con call and for another it uh, may be available in the investor presentation. And as we said often, the summary of the same is displayed in the business profile of the companies over the screen routine website also. So from wherever you get such information, it's better to get the same in respect of the company you are analyzing and the vision regarding future the management holds in its eyes should be crystal clear. Now we have to do a brief analysis of business for all the companies we have in the final list. As I said, the analysis has to be brief means uh, you need to understand business briefly but with a clear idea and then understand what are the near future growth prospects of the company and a little bit of reference to the industry the company operates and how company tends to make its growth plan a reality that's it after finalizing this task for all the companies on radar just mark those which have some clear idea of how their business would grow in the near future after this the resulting number of companies left would be 10 to 20 or little more in that final list Doing this, we are ready to prioritize the stocks for further investment. How to do it? Let's go on with the same in next video.